gamers and uh, computer enthusiasts. I'm Pemb66 and if you stumble on my channel you'll find I do the odd tutorial. Now this tutorial is basically about um, you know you know when you buy your, your capture card it comes with software most capture cards come with, with their own software to edit and above all be able to catch your gameplay to your PC but what happens when that disc gets broken you know you think to yourself oh god why I'll have to send off for a new disc and then you get onto especially Roxio and you find that they're charging you for the privilege I mean I don't know how true that is but that doesn't sound very nice does it not very nice situation to be in so what I say is get hold of this program here it's called power iso okay let's go into the computer click on it now you find I've already got the capture card software in the machine what happens is when you right click it you see the power iso icon there it just says make image file click on iso file click OK now there's already one there so I won't I won't do it again but I'll show you it, it doesn't take long at all to do it um, I'll show you let's go to my documents where are we where are we where are we where are we just gonna there we go Roxio game catch HD Pro now there's two ways of getting that software I mean basically this is a copy of your original disk because if, if, if you get it if it gets cracked you know, you knock it out, you. You know, there's there's two ways of, of um, using Power ISO to actually get this software installed on your system. If you right click here, you go down to Power ISO, mount image to drive. Okay, click on that. Now, if I go into computer now, you notice it's the drive says Roxio Game Game Catcher HD Pro. Watch what happens when I double click it. Yeah, run setup. It's as easy as that. You don't even need to burn it, but for the purpose of having your own copy and you know to never have a problem of, oh dear, my, my disc is all scratched, the dog's chewed it, or whatever, you know. We went blank then. I don't know why, but anyway, let's unmount the image because I don't need to. Unmount drive. Yeah. I right clicked it then by the way but another way of doing it is if you go into your power iso open that very disk image you just saved open click on burn burn it to disk that's as simple as that i hope this uh, tutorial has helped somebody and thought that you know if you ever thought to yourself oh you know because a lot of people all they want to do is capture the gameplay they don't think about these things you know, it's this. I urge anybody to buy, especially the Roxio, because Roxio, the software itself is is not very good. I have to say, the ca the capture quality is excellent. The software is crap. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but I'm, I don't I don't mince my words. If I say it's not very good, it's not very good. It's the worst software I've ever actually worked with on a PC. To be t totally honest with you, but that's another story. Anyway, I hope this has um, helped somebody. You know, make a copy of, of your Roxio game capture software or whatever software you've got. You know, otherwise you've got problems. Anyway, I'm Pemb66 and I'm getting the hell out of here. See you later. As always, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. This is Pemb66 signing off.